Hey guys, I'm back with another episode of my Let's Play. So this is episode 2, and we're going to be showing off what I've done so far. So I've upgraded almost everything so far. So everything's up to its max, level 4 tower. We have a catapult, level 4 market and mills, um, level 2 garrisons. I forgot, I, I forgot to say that I trust the uh, Acropolis. Hopefully I'm saying this right. I might not be, I'm sorry. Um, because it's like the best Bronze Age wonder, there's only like... There's not many of them, but it gives more health and it'll help, you know, speed up the garrison. So, definitely, it's probably the best one. I chose pyramids before when I thought I would need it, but that was, that was not a good option. But yeah, my walls all up upgraded, my gates. So, the only thing I have left is actually my farms. And then, what I'm going to do is probably going to upgrade the town center to the classical age. And, just upgrade my farm since uh, this only takes four slots. And so... It's gonna take two days, and I also um, researched everything in the blacksmith. So where's my blacksmith over here? So actually, I, I have to show you my barracks now. So what we got now is we got vandals. Um, that's the specific troop type for the Germans. This composite bowman, uh, heavy horse raider, and horseman, and this is what strategy I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use a lot of horsemen, like four, since I don't have that much. I am actually maxed out my barracks too, so 45 is the max at the Iron Age. Unless you're the Romans, of course. Uh, let's see, and then I have, and I use some vandals and some bowmen just to protect them, because the horsemen, you see, they're a lot stronger now overall. So hopefully this will make it a lot easier. Oh, sorry guys, I think I had my mouse in there the whole time. Because I'm, I'm mirroring it to my computer. Sorry about that. Anyways, so let's show off a raid and see what we got. I think as long as I don't run into a Ballista Tower, I should be fine. That's the only thing I'm really kind of worried about. Because Ballista Towers are definitely definitely do a lot of damage. Um, might as well just show off this one. This one will be pretty... Uh, damn, I pressed it by accident. Um, let me go at this. I'm going to separate two and two. And then I'm gonna, after that takes up that catapult, I'm going to send out the rest of my troops. Oh, sorry. And then send out the bowmen. Because these horsemen will take out all the, their defending troops too, so... Yeah, this one's really easy. I think I lost only one vandal, or I'm only going to lose one vandal because... Um, it got destroyed by the catapult, but it's okay. Anyways, this is an easy one. I just wanted to show off someone that's in my age. And so before I show off like a uh, probably classical age, maybe medieval, but I don't know that I can beat a medieval age, but yep. And the horsemen are taking out the tower and that's basically it. Yep. This is going to be five stars since I got the quick victory. You know, when you're at 200 medals, you can gain a lot of medals easily, so you kind of move up, but it's, again, it's not necessary. And I forgot uh, to talk about my base layout. I'll talk about that a little bit before I start the next raid again. Okay. I think even the horsemen... I, I guess at the lower ages, they don't have um, the resource, like, building damage, like, reduction. We'll s I'll, I'll definitely check to double check to see. Yeah, I just lost one vandal, but... Yeah, someone in my age, I can destroy them because they don't have. I, that means they can destroy me also, but. You know, because I don't have a ballista tower to really take it on. Okay, so. Let's double check about the horsemen. Yeah, oh, I know, I never mind, they do. Okay. Anyways, I forgot to talk about my base layout. So, I made a, just a simple base layout for the a Iron Age. I didn't put any roads in. I, I know some people in the comments are probably going to be like, oh, why didn't you put your roads in? Um, I usually, I'm going to do that later on whenever I get more roads and more walls and then I'll decide how to use the roads because I don't think it's that useful at this, like, beginning stages. And so, let's see. I want to just protect my resources so you can see how I just branched it off into three sections and I think that will work because I don't have that many walls either yet, so I think this layout works decently and I mean of course if someone at a higher level attacks me they're gonna destroy me still so I think this is a decent way to protect your resources at the Iron Age 
until you start upgrading some more. So I'll, I'll show a new layout for each age. So hopefully you like this Iron Age layout. I think it works decently. Use the rest of your your resource buildings to protect um, the, around the outside so they can't just get in so easily. And so let's get to the next battle. Okay, let's see if you can find someone that is a uh, classical age. Nope. It's bronze age. It's a problem with being at the lower levels. You're going to get a lot of these bronze age ones. Iron age. Nope. Yeah, so at these lower levels, horsemen are really strong. Okay. This guy doesn't have any walls, so this would be much easier. Okay, he has all his towers and garrisons. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just send up my horsemen first to kind of destroy all these uh, defensive things at the bottom. This is quite an easy base, actually. Because he doesn't have anything walled off. So it should be fine. I'm going to use my bowmen to help protect the troops. Uh, I forgot that he, he, though I guess the stable can reach all the way over there. So I'm going to send up my vandals over here. And hopefully, oh no, I forgot. I forgot the, um, the town center puts out troops. So I need to rally them all back together over here. Oh my gosh, I don't have bowmen. It's going to be a problem. Come on, break through the wall. Oh my gosh, bowmen. Yeah, the AI is still like, they were concentrating on a different wall earlier, you kind of saw it, but now they're not, so. I'm going to lose a decent amount of vandals right here. Yeah, I lost two, three, four, I lost three right there, so. Just because my bowmen can't get around this wall. Okay, so the horsemen, you know, they have so much health, so they can take on anything over here, so it should be fine. Everything's really spread far apart, though. This is definitely an easier classical base, a classical age base than most most bases. Ah, it's a little laggy. Okay. So I didn't mean to rally them together, but it, it worked out anyways. Because I need my vandals to work together to defeat that horseman. Okay, great. Oops. Okay, great. Okay, so I got a minute left. I don't think I'm going to 5 star it, but I might be able to 3 star it. I think I could have 5 star it if I took a different approach to it, but I did take out all the defensive buildings, so I'm going to get all my troops back. That's the important thing. I'm going to get a lot of resources, too. At the lower age, like fighting these like classical age bases and like iron age bases that have like 20k resources, that's a lot of resources for us, and it's really easy to get. Okay, it's two star. See, and there's still like, you see this? It's, it's like aiming at the wall, even though it doesn't have to. Uh, I hope that AI gets fixed in the next bug patch, but who knows? Or the next patch. Okay, we have like 14 seconds. We should be able to force. I don't know if we can force start. We have to get over here real quick. Oh yeah, I forgot about the rally. If you look at the rally at the bottom left, the rally icon is different for the Germans, so looks nice. Oh, barely four started. Oh my gosh. That zero seconds. Nice. Okay, so I lost three vandals. Okay, I think I have time for one more raid, so hopefully you guys are enjoying these longer videos. I know I don't get to post too often, so I'm trying to make these longer and more enjoyable for you guys. So I definitely recommend this um, current, like this army layout because the horsemen will take all the damage, the vandals will destroy all the resource buildings and help attack um, the defensive buildings, and the bowmen will just, you know, defend your troops. I think this will be the best combination. As long as they don't have a ballista tower, you should be fine. And so. Let's see. Let me just at least get two out of the, the three vandals, and then after that, I'm gonna go on to find another one. So, that was an easy classical base. 
If they walled it off, I don't know if it would be that easy, but we'll see. Okay, this is level 24, classical age base. Let's see, where should I start from? I'm thinking... I need to take out the uh, the stable and this garrison, so I'm going to use two horsemen on each side. And then... Because they can destroy it by themselves. And then after that, I'm going to send the rest of my vandals in. And then help take out those horsemen. Okay. Again, this one, he doesn't... He didn't really, you know, section off his base, so it's a fairly easy base again. Uh, getting some lag. It's it's nice to play like the you know play the game again because I really enjoy this game at the lower levels. At the higher levels, it's getting kind of long and like try to earn enough resources. It really sucks. Okay, what what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm just gonna keep going until I lose some more troops that it takes too long to rebuild. So, I'm also just keep going with these raids. I didn't lose any troops. Nice. Anyways, guys, these strategies, you know. I definitely recommend the strategy at the Iron Age because it does a lot of damage and helps you destroy other re uh, resources building. So that highly recommended. And I'm probably just gonna four star it because I didn't. If you want to five star something, always try to take out the town center as soon as possible with before the you know minute is up, so you can get the two star automatically. But I didn't do that, so I'm probably just gonna get four star. Okay, this should be it. I wish there was a way to speed up, you know, like the end, because I know sometimes it just takes forever just to destroy the research buildings after you destroy the defensive buildings. I really like the, the, the Vandals. I think they're a good troop. It's kind of like the Japanese, but I don't know if they're quite as strong. Yep, no... No troop loss. Okay, so let's just keep going. This might be like a 20 minute video, but I don't know. I hope you guys are enjoying it. So let's get back to another raid. Yeah, I can definitely destroy any Iron Age base and most Classical Age bases. Okay, this one... Mm, I don't know, this guy doesn't have like the best layout, but... Let's see... Hmm... I mean, I can beat this one, but... Is there a harder one? I mean, this is a little bit harder because he actually sectioned it off a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, might as well go for it. So I'm gonna use my horseman right here to break through the wall, and then I'm gonna use my bowman to protect the horseman because I, I know like the the town center is gonna be producing a lot of troops, and so hopefully my own. Bowman can protect them, and then I'm gonna use my vandals up top right here to start destroying the resource buildings. As my horsemen make way to destroy the, def the rest of the defensive buildings. Okay, I lost one bowman because he was by he was alone by himself. So, uh, I don't know what's the best idea to attack the catapult, but it's okay. It works out. Yep, got that quick victory. Okay, I lost three three vandals, one bowman, but not a big loss. Yeah, these horsemen have so much health. Three thousand health, that's a lot in like you know the early game. I can't wait for the tanks though to be honest. The tanks are gonna be nice, like it's gonna double the HP and like they get range. It's gonna be really nice. I can't wait for that. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of resources. You can get a lot of resources just by doing this. And this is how I upgraded all my stuff. Like, 150k for a barracks for food was like nothing really because you can just earn that so quickly. And that, right now I'm maxed out on food, so. Okay. Yep, 5 star that base. I lost a little bit more troops than I would have liked, but it's okay. Yep, this video is going a little bit longer, but I'm enjoying making more raids for you guys, so. Let's see. Hmm. 
Okay. I'm just gonna pause it and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Ever, all the troops are trained up and let's go back. Let's see what we got. So, Bronze Age, no way. Let's see. Anyways, guys, let me know what content you guys would like to see. And I'll definitely try my best to do it, uh, make it for you guys. So, okay, this one's definitely harder. Because first, she has a Ballista Tower. So, that's going to definitely be a problem. Um, which way I'm going to think about attacking from. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to send out my horsemen to come up from this top side by the Alliance Gate. And then I'm going to also use my Vandals to help destroy the Ballista Tower as soon as possible. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, so I'm going to send them all out. Everyone attack the Ballista Tower. I hope they can get to the Ballista Tower fast enough. It's because it's going to like three hit it almost. Or like one hit almost all of them. Okay. Nice. I lost two horsemen, but two horsemen is going to be good enough, I think. This is a lot harder base. Actually, I don't know if it's the best idea to rally them. Uh, yeah, actually, that was a really, really bad idea. You guys just you guys just saw it, too. That was a really bad idea. Um, that actually just caused me to lose. What I should have done, and I'll tell you guys, too. This is what I should have done. I should have put my horsemen out, rallied them towards the Ballista Tower. They take out the Ballista Tower, and then the Vandals, and, the, and then send out my uh, Vandals and Bowmen. Anyways, you guys, you guys, I always show off my flubs too, because I know no one's perfect. You know, we all mess up. Um, I think I could have beaten that base, but I didn't approach it the right way. So, anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and you know, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.